this is the yeah. first time we've really, really talked. Yeah. As I mean, a group. Yes. I mean, I think I had a great childhood. I don't know if it was normal, per se. Well, let's go outside. I remember your birthday party. It was like the first time we kind of realized that something was wrong. I think it was fifth grade. Fifth grade yeah, birthday That's party. my first memory of it, too. She didn't go because she was sitting in the recliner in the living room and like she like wasn't there. I was very, very bad. I mean, I was, I was like psychotic. It was just kind of like, almost like a catatonic look. And I remember when we came home, you were still in the chair. And yeah. I think they called the ambulance yes. to come and take you. Yes. And so that was probably the first that time I too. ever realized yeah. something was wrong. Like yeah. mom was sick. I wasn't diagnosed until my son was born, which was after the girls. That's when it really affected me. I was hospitalized 13 times in 15 years. I just felt like when I was depressed, I wasn't being a good mother. When they wanted to go somewhere, I, I didn't feel like taking them. They went to school, back to bed I'd go. I'd stay in bed all day, they'd come home, I'd get up. I wasn't there for their homecoming, for birthdays. I feel bad about that. When you're depressed, you have a hard time cleaning and doing those sort of things. So I cleaned the house so that she would feel comfortable enough. I think I yeah. spent a lot of time trying to either make her happy or make her comfortable. I always felt supported. Like my mom was there to talk to. It just felt like you didn't want to give her too much. I remember her being like, I can't do any of this and then going back upstairs. So we wanted to keep the house clean as much as possible. If she did come downstairs, it wasn't like she was just gonna go right back upstairs. There's nothing else she has to do besides just be down here with us. And I forgot about all that. Like that, yeah. When I'm manic, I do come up with big ideas. I started the Batavia Citywide Garage Sale. And you did that um, radio show for a long time. Oh, I forgot about the radio show. Yeah. Well, you were the president of the PTO too, oh, growing yes. up. Oh, yes. Yeah. She's sweet and she's likable and then you dial all that up when she's manic and she has an idea where she's like, this is the best idea ever. People like buy into that. When I was manic, I felt like I was a better parent now that I think about it now. Usually how you can tell when you're manic, the speech gets really fast. I love you. You are so sweet. Everybody loves you. When she's on the verge of getting manic, a little bit of that sweetness goes away. <laughs> I love There's calling. like more of an edge There's to more it. Edge. And we're like, yep, she's manic. Yep, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we hear yeah, it. We, we know did. it. Did uh, you get a package from QVC on your doorstep? Right. Nope. Yep. Yes, we did. Yes, yeah. we did. I love to shop. And that kind of goes along with the bipolar. I buy them a lot when I'm manic. I mean, some of this stuff is great. But I remember you sent me and Rob this huge porch swing. Oh, Do you yeah. remember that? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Like, most of the time, you just like sending us stuff. Yes, yes. But it's when it becomes, I think, extravagant. Then I come over here and I also see that you have several boxes. I'm divorced. And I think that that was a big thing. I remember a lot of marriage. arguments about money. I mean, yeah. and that's kind of typical between husband and, and wife. Yeah. Like, my dad just, like, seeing all these packages coming and being like, we can't afford this, but she just would keep going. They're very good daughters. They are my support system. They are the ones that I go to. And now my ex-husband and I are very good friends. We are grandparents to our grandchildren. You need to have those people in your life who are like, you're not answering the phone, I'm coming over. We're gonna deal with this. I understand more and I listen to them and I realize that they love me and they support me mm -hmm. and I don't take it the wrong way. I feel like we have a much more understanding of mental illness than a lot of people mm -hmm. out there. It's a disease, like it was not her choice. This is a medical condition that she has had to deal with. So to feel guilty for something that you can't control is a waste of time. You did absolutely everything you were supposed to or could have done. You took your medication, you saw your doctor, you advocated for yourself. Well, thanks, home. thanks, because I, I sometimes feel so guilty to hear him say that makes me. <laughs> we love you. I know. You I did know. a good job. I, I can't believe 
how well we, they turned out in spite of maybe how because I felt. of maybe yeah. we learned some life skills that yeah. are important like empathy like support yeah we are very good in crises too. we are amazing we are i mean both of our jobs situations. like we are the people to go to like so that's a positive spin on things <laughs> yeah <laughs> Let's look at the road again.